Hi everybody, so Daisy 1.10 has dropped for PC and console and if you're the owner of a Nitrado gaming server for PlayStation or Xbox, you're probably wondering how do I update it because they haven't given us any instructions this time, but it is very, very, very easy. Let me show you how you would do it. So you um, go to all your services and you want to click on the little web interface icon go into the dashboard and then you want to go into the file you want to go into the settings <laughs> almost took to the wrong place there go into the general settings this one here and you want to scroll down and you want to go down to this one reset mission xml to default now what this will do is once we saved this and we restarted it it will get rid of all your xml files they're all the ones that tell the game um, how many guns to spawn in, how many zombies to spawn in, what items to spawn in, how many cars, all that sort of stuff. So all that stuff will go, and it will go back to the vanilla files that have the trucks in, that has the flare gun in, that has the new monkey wrench in, has all that sort of stuff in. But it will get rid of your modded XML files. So please... Download them, back them up first so you've got them for reference. When you update your servers like this, the, the, it, Nitrado cannot and Daisy can't look at your modded XML files and go, all right, let's just add these new bits in. Let's add the flare gun in. Let's add the truck in. It, they, they can't do that. It's too complicated. You're going to have to do that over the next um, few days or few weeks. So what you do is you, you tick that there, reset mission XML to default. You click Save Changes, you let it save, then you click on Restart Server, and the server will then restart. Then after a few minutes, you want to click that again to stop it resetting, and you want to save the changes again. And that will then make sure the new files with all the lovely new items are there on your server. But as I say, big warning, it does get rid of your modded XML files. They'll be gone. You'll be back to vanilla. You're going to have to start modding them. So that's why you need to make sure you've downloaded them to back them up so you can then start looking at them, cross-reference them with the um, with the uh, the files, um, the, the vanilla files, and then start changing them. Um, and there's the flare gun um, to, to change them to your liking. Now, if you're wondering, while we're on the subject then, how do I download the vanilla files? Well, Bohemia Interactive will update their to their um, GitHub with the files, but until that point, what you, simply what you can do then is if you just go into your file browser and you just download the files. Once you've been through this process, download the files that you would normally add, normally mod in the. Uh, so you would normally mod things like the um, spawnable types file, the events file, and the. Um, the types file so download those mod them and, and re-upload them but there we go that's how you update to the latest 1.10 on nitrado for xbox and playstation but as i say it will get rid of your modem X, modded xml files and takes you back to vanilla but it will mean that you get the truck the flare gun and the other lovely things that we're getting in 1.10 if you don't update the game will still change in the fact that players will be able to break their legs and they'll get cold very easily but you won't have the new stuff spawning in there we go. Hopefully that's useful. Hit like if it was. Subscribe if you want to see more of the same. And of course, I'll see you again soon.